Hello folks, this is 2020, October, November, paper 1-1 and the question number is 9. This question is concerned with the chapter dynamics. So it says that a rock R of mass 1.0 into 10 to the power 27 kg, so rock R, is a large distance from the star S, star S, and is traveling at a speed of 1 into 10 to the power 4 meter per second. So, shown here, the star has mass 1 into 10 to the power 30 kg. The rock travels around the star on a path shown so that it reverses its direction. So that means this direction and this is exactly reverse uh, motion. And when finally again a large distance from the star has the same speed as initially. So the speed here, the speed here and the speed here are same. Which statement is correct? It says which statement is correct. So the first is. The change in the momentum of S is in the direction of arrow X, arrow X. So it says that the momentum change occurs here. So let us see whether it's true or not. Let us see the magnified way. When the st star, when this thing rock reaches here, rock reaches here. Let us uh, see that in a wholesome manner. So S will be magnified like this, and this uh, uh, R will be somewhat like this. Now when they are together. Each of them will experience gravitational force, so yes will be pulled here and R will be pulled here. So that's why the change in momentum of yes will be in this direction, in this direction, this direction. So that's why, that's, that's why uh, as it says in relation of x, which is not true. So the change of momentum occurs here, that's why it should be to the right, not to the left. Number B. Number B, sorry, the change in the velocity of yes is approximately 20 meter per second. So we have to calculate that. So for that, what we do is, uh, when, during collision, what happens is, the change in momentum of both bodies should be equal. Actually, the magnitude of the change should be equal. So for this R body, we'll have, uh, we'll have change momentum is equal to uh, mass. Uh, mass is uh, 1.0 into 10 to the power 27 mass into change of velocity same body so it should be 1.0 into 10 to the power 4 minus minus 1.0 into 10 to the power 4 it's because it exactly reverses equal to mass of s which is 1.0 into 10 to the power 30 into its change of velocity so let us say it is delta v <coughs> so it should be uh, so we'll have this thing will be equal to uh, 1.0 into 10 to the power 27 into this will be added here 2.0 2.0 into 10 to the power 4 equal to 1.0 into 10 to the power 30 so this and this one so it will be it will be uh, into delta v delta v so delta v should be equal to 2.0 into 10 to the power 31 divided 10 to the power 30 so this this cancels 2.0 into 10 is 20 meter per second so the change in velocity of this s will be equal to 20 meter per second so it, it is correct it is correct so let us see for other options as well the measure of change of momentum of r r is uh, 10 to the power 3 times greater than the measure of momentum yes untrue because the change in magnitude in both bodies should be numerically equal the moment of r doesn't change again again untrue because momentum changes heavily its velocity has changed very much the speed is same but the velocity has changed very much if it has even reversed the thing so that's why this definitely changes so it is untrue untrue the only correct choice is choice number b so it is the correct choice here